This is the moment which the peoples of the world, weary of the Cold War, have awaited for years. At the Palace of Nations in Geneva, the leaders of the four great powers, Britain, America, France and the Soviet Union, are meeting to see if they can iron out their differences round the conference table. Sir Anthony Eden leads the British delegation. The French Premier Edgar Faure and Foreign Minister Pinay arrive. The Soviet delegation is led by the Prime Minister Marshal Bulganin. With him is Khrushchev, the first secretary of the Soviet Communist Party. Foreign Minister Molotov and Defence Minister Marshal Zhukov are here too. Comrade Bulganin, come back and be introduced. To complete the Big Four, we have United States President Dwight Eisenhower with John Foster Dulles, Secretary of State, or Foreign Minister, as other countries would call him. The journalists from many lands gather outside the conference room where the Big Four are meeting. In a friendly atmosphere, each power makes its opening statement. Eisenhower says all barriers must begin to come down. Eden calls for German unity and a neutral zone between East and West. France calls for cuts in arms budgets and mutual security guarantees for Europe. Bulganin wants a non-aggression pact and a stage-by-stage -stage security plan. The meeting starts on the right foot by agreeing its agenda without friction. First, German unity. Second, European security. Third, disarmament. Fourth, development of East-West contact. May it continue as smoothly as it has begun.